Hey guys, RC here. Hope you guys are having a good day. It's early, early on Sunday morning that I'm recording this. Uh, boy, is it just me or do you lose track of the days with this home quarantine stuff? Um, and on the off chance somebody looks at this, you know, five or ten years down the road and have no idea what I'm talking about, just go look up Coronavirus 2020 and uh, you'll figure it out. <laughs> so anyway, uh, before I get into the game, we want, I want to do a little bit of channel housekeeping and, and let you guys know what's going on. So my priorities in life are my family, my job, my YouTube channel here that you're watching, uh, and then, you know, anything else that I do for fun, you know, my friends and, and everything else that goes outside of those core three things. Uh, so my channel will continue to revolve around football manager, daily content uploads Monday through sun, uh, Monday through Saturday. Um, you've heard me mention in my football manager videos that I do a personal save. That's one of those things in that fourth category, uh, stuff that I do for personal enjoyment, for fun outside of the, the football manager stuff. And I do a written dynasty, uh, for one of the sites that I'm a longtime member of. I was approached, uh, about a week and a half ago. And I haven't, I haven't really paid a lot of attention to it until yesterday. Um, I knew I was going to be buying this game. And we'll get into my relationship with, the, with Draft Day Sports uh, in a minute. But uh, this uh, site here on YouTube is called GM Games. And they reached out and asked if I would be a guest vlogger. And the caveats are that I cannot cross-market uh, videos. Basically, if I make a video for them, it's proprietary to their channel, and I'm okay with that. Uh, what they will do is they will publish my channel, this channel here, uh, on their site, hopefully leading to more traffic to this channel, which is the goal. Uh, because this, as I said, is family, job, this channel, and then anything else that I do. So, um, they were, they're a, uh, GM games is a, uh, text-based gaming site of which draft a sports, uh, any, any site that you can do online play multiplayer, um, and have a league with multiple owners doesn't have to be a console based where you're pl actually playing head to head. A lot of it, a lot of it is where you set your lineup, you set your strategy, you upload it, and then the commissioner sims those head to head games, uploads a new file, and then you see the results, and then set up for your next round of games. So that's uh, that's what they specialize in. Uh, Football Manager, of course, is not one of those. Uh, specifically, uh, way too many teams for the first, first part. But, uh, anyway, I wanted to let you know that I will be doing a series on draft day sports, college basketball, 2020. Uh, it will not be on this channel. It will be on the GM game site where I, as noted, will be a guest vlogger and be putting up videos. It will be a journeyman style uh save with this game and i've already told him this will not be my priority this is number four on the list or actually number five so it's my football manager save my personal save that i'm doing the written dynasty for and then this when and if i have time so certainly not daily content uh probably weekly content and i'll try to get one or two videos a week um, as best I can. So that's what's going on channel wise. Uh, so that took all of four and a half minutes. So let's move on to this, the part of this video that is on my channel. It's an unboxing video. So you, I've done stuff with draft day sports before, uh, pro football, college football. We did, uh, we did a series of, uh, re revitalizing the wishbone uh, a couple of years ago with one of their college football games. Uh, we gave away a copy of uh, their Draft Day Sports College Football 2020 recently uh, over the Christmas holiday. 
2019. And uh, so, you know, that was that was some things that I've done. Um, when Wolverine Studios, who is the maker of this series, the Draft Day Sports Series, this is the, this is their logo, uh, their brand for their gaming line. Uh, they do pro football, college football, uh, pro basketball, college basketball. They have a, a golf. Um, they've got a, a wide assortment of, of games, uh, multiple developers that are producing the games. So, uh, but they're all sports related. They uh, center around the sports universe. Uh, so anyway, that's, uh, that's what's going on. Um, when they first started, uh, I was one of their alpha testers. And what that was is when they were going through coding and developing the game, they would get me a copy and I would play it and try to break it and find bugs. And, you know, that I would, you know, bring that to their attention. They would squash them, put out a new update with any additions. I'd get a new copy and I would play it and try to break it again. And, you know, this went on for usually several months because, you know, I usually got something that they hoped was close to a finished product. And then, you know, we would focus on individual, um, you know, each one of the alpha testers would be assigned a particular thing. So you would play the game, but then you would also specialize in, you know, looking at, you know, like at the beginning, it might be, okay, uh, I want you to focus, RC, I want you to focus on setting up various associations. So I may go in and try 30 different combinations and make sure I was ticking different boxes and, you know, seeing if there was any problems there. And, um, you know, and then the goal was when final release came out to the public that you had a relatively bug-free uh, uh, experience. As time progressed, uh, you know, you guys are aware, they went to these beta tests. And the beta testing was they would basically release a game uh, with bugs in all their glory and let you find them. Uh, and... And then they would fix them and release patches. And that's kind of what everybody does these days. And there was no longer a need for alpha testers. I was doing it for free anyway. I got a free copy of the game for doing it. I wasn't paid. Um, and uh, But I've, I've maintained a relationship with Gary Gorski, the uh, founder and owner of Wolverine Studios. So, um, you know, so I've got a good relationship with Gary. And I, I try to help Gary out anytime I can. And he, you know, he was nice enough when I asked to donate a game uh, for the college football for the dynasty I did over the holidays. Uh, you know, he, he quickly threw up a, a, a copy for me to give away, you know, even though I'm a small channel. So, you know, kudos to him for that. So anyway, we're back with a new game. Just bought this yesterday. Uh, I'm not an alpha tester anymore, so I do buy all of my games. So non-sponsored. Um, Gary, if you want to sponsor me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, I like to be able to speak my mind about games. But anyway, we are going to unbox. So this is Draft Day Sports College Basketball. I do want to flip over. There we are. To Wolverine Studios Forums. Now, you can buy their games through their website or... You can buy it on Steam. But the reason I'm here is you'll notice in the forum section right here, they have WS Mods. That's Wolverine Studio Mods. And then they have all these sub forums. So let's click here and all these forums. So these are all the games they have released. Uh, they started with Total Pro Golf and, you know, draft. And then they went into the draft day sports. And even the golf went from total pro to draft day sports. That's just their, their branding now. But right here at the top, we have draft day sports college basketball. And we have this college mod version 1.10 by NCAA hoops. Um, and it has a bunch of, of views and uh, downloads and replies. This is a mod with real teams, real logos, real conference names, uh, you can download that. It gives you the process to install it and how to work it. One of the things I had to go back and look for was how to actually get it in the game. So we'll hit on that today as well. So let's go back to the game. And here we are. All right. So 
we're going to create a new association. So I started yesterday. I did play a little bit. I've deleted that save. So we're starting from scratch. So there's nothing to load. So we're going to create a new association. And you can see there are three different modes. You do have multiplayer. You have a sandbox mode. And then you have a challenge mode. Challenge mode is what most people are probably going to play. Uh, unless you're playing multiplayer. This is where... Uh, you know, your AD or your school board, uh, athletic board has goals and expectations. You can be fired. Uh, you can switch jobs, uh, things like that. So we're going to click on that. Now for this mod, you can click any of the three, but uh, this is interesting. So they have the standard mode. So this is a modern day setup with conference movement. Or we can go with a football manager style promote European uh, football promotion relegation setup where that's interesting. But again, you know, either one you want works with the mod. So and I'm just going to leave all these as default, right? I'm just going to leave these as default for this video. Um, I am going to go back and redo this for the actual series for GM games but you can change your logos here, um, the whole nine yards. And so this is your basic setup, and that's right here at the top. There's no continue, so you may get lost here. It took me a minute, and I went, oh, okay, it's up here at the top. We're gonna click on association settings, and here's where that mod comes into play. We're gonna use the custom file, and this opens up. Okay, well, what are these? What are these? Well, there are in when you install this, there is a README file. Make sure you open that. And it will tell you what all of these are. And basically, they're just how they're set up. So I went with the default. Uh, you know, there's just there's few minor tweaks, right? So conference and uh, this this has default conference and teams for 2019-20. Uh, this has conference and teams with no stats, conference teams and coaches no stats, conference teams, uh, I don't remember what YS was, uh, oh, yearly stats and or this year's stats and conference teams, coaches, and this year's stats. So uh, we're gonna go with the default. Click on it, but you could you choose any one of these. So there's five different databases. So if you're if you're familiar with Football Manager, this is that those you know where you can choose the databases uh, in the setup. So there are five different ones. I'm going to go with the default. We're going to open it up. Uh, we want uh, I do want to allow conference movement. A hundred percent doesn't mean that everybody gets hurt. A hundred percent is average, and you see you can actually go up to 200% with double injuries. And it tells you right here, 100% <coughs> will result in an average amount. And you can change this later as well. Uh, job pressure, the pressure level you would like to play with. This is your difficulty level. Uh, how, this is how tough the board of directors or your ADR in evaluating you each year. Uh, easy mode, normal or high. Uh, high means you'll get fired faster if you fail to achieve your objectives. I had a camera issue this morning, and I just can't seem to get it dialed in. I don't know what the deal is, but I've got all the lights on, and everything's there. I just can't get it dialed in. I played with it for about 20 minutes and finally said, screw it. We're just going to go with it. Um, kind of look ruddy. Uh, oh, well. I don't drink, so... Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not blitzed and uh, you know haven't been hitting the bottle hard <laughs> you know <laughs> and recruiting difficulty again easy normal high and brutal uh, so we're gonna go with that and then again no no continue down here uh, I do like the you know depending on what scale you want so they'll have one to ten ratings or one to a hundred ratings so uh, I think one to ten is easier to read uh, and uh, that gives a little bit more gray gray area as well. One to a hundred gives you more of a detailed. But uh, anyway, and we're going to finalize that. We're going to accept settings and go to coach creation. Uh, you cannot import. Well, you could, I suppose, uh, if you select picture, it tells you where the pictures are. And I suppose you could input a picture of your own in there. 
Uh, so I am gonna pick that guy just because. Clothing style. Uh, I wish this was something where I could use the up down arrows. Oh, oh, you can. Look at that. Okay, but you can't close it. But that's cool. All right, I like that one. What number is that? Twenty four. Boom. All right, and then of course we'll be raging, Cajun. I want to be uh, 35 in the game, uh, my dream team. And you can see because I'm using the mod, uh, all the team logos and all the team names are real. Uh, if you were not playing with the mod, this would be different. Just a heads up, uh, you'll get something like uh, you know the I don't I don't know the real ones because I haven't looked at them, but the vanilla ones. But you know like the the Lafayette lioness lions or something like that. So, you know, the Louisiana State cats or something to that effect. It would be very basic. And you would think I would play with the Raging Cajuns, which I do love my alma mater, but I am a diehard Michigan Wolverine fan. Uh, if you're playing multiplayer or just want to put a password, you can do that. Uh, ambition level. Well, my ambition is high because I want to get to Michigan. And then academics. Do you not give a damn? I'm going to be a little high, uh, low discipline, and I'm going to go high in, in uh, I'm going to go high integrity, and I'm going to, this is average, right? Or, well, I guess that's average. Oh, okay. There we go. Temper level. So I, normally I'm pretty laid back. I do have a temper, very, very long fuse, but I want to get into, you know, I want to get into Bobby Knight territory, but not quite that bad. So boom. All right, you can set up your philosophies in here and you can move these around. I'm not going to change any here, but this is, and you know, it tells you what they do. Skill setting. So again, you're just working your way across the board here. Now, this is interesting, your coaching skills, right? So we're going to be a rookie coach, but we want to eventually become an elite coach. And then you can come in and I wish you could change these here, like overwrite that and type in 22, but you have to use the slider and it doesn't adjust. So you, you just kind of have to look and, you know, and you can see when it moves like one or two spots. So, you know, you can move it around and, you know, I went down nine points. I've got nine left so I can move my recruiting ability up to 39 you know or if i want that at 30 i can do uh maybe my player development's a little elevated and i've got a little bit better you know I'm, i want to focus more on defense right or and maybe i'm not going to scout at all i'm going to leave that up to my guy so then i can go up a little more on defense maybe get my offense up to a little bit and tack one more on to recruiting, right? When you set this up, just a heads up, you're when you're recruiting players, your recruiting ability is a combination of yours and your recruiting assistant. Boy, that video is really bad. I just can't figure it out. And it was fine. I, rec I was recording last night and it was fine. I haven't changed the settings. Turned it on this morning and it looks like crap. So, oh well. Oh, well, maybe it's just me. I think it's just a me issue. And then, of course, this is what you start at. And then as you have success, you gain points to add to your skills. And this is what you can max at. Now, again, it doesn't have to all be even. So if you want to be less known for your offense, uh, maybe a little higher on your defense. Maybe you want to be a defensive whiz. Uh, maybe you don't want to do a whole lot of scouting. So we're going to drop that, and we want to be able to max out. We're going to be the greatest recruiter in the nation. you know. So you can tweak those however you want. Use the sliders, but the points that you have to work with are based on your levels. So this is your starting level. That's where we're going to be at when we start the game. And then this is what you can develop into over time. You know, It's not going to be overnight. That might be at the end of a 20 or 25-year career. All right, then we're going to go to job selection. 
And the only jobs that you're going to get are based on your current ratings, all right? Uh, so this is your current skill level and philosophies. So basically the game has taken everything you input from your philosophies and your skill settings, these two screens here, and it's given you a list of teams of schools that would hire you and what they would hire you for. So this is sorted out by conference. If we sort by prestige, so we could get a job at Maryland, wouldn't go to Ohio State, Texas, but these would be as assistant coaches. Assistant coaches, you do not have any control. Okay, I did this my last time I did a save for college uh, basketball, and basically for, for the whole year, I did nothing. I just hit continue, you know, uh, because you're not making any decisions. So you really want to sort by prestige in reverse order. You can start unemployed and then wait a year. I don't know if you'll get job offers in the email, but, uh, you know, you, we go right into recruiting, basically. So you want to take a job. So I would start as a head coach. Because I'm going to do a journeyman save, I would start at a small program. But you know what? Take the highest job you can. And where's that going to be as a head coach? Well, actually, let's do this. Head coach. It's probably going to be in the 14 range. Army, Navy, BMI, Cal State. Yeah, everything here is starting to get into assistant level. So 14 prestige as a rookie head coach, and that's probably realistic. So you could take a job at any of these schools. And again, if you want to go back into your into your settings and you want to start off as, as a veteran or elite coach, let's change it to veteran and then see what happens there. Well, first assistance see where and a lot of this I'm just kind of showing you guys so there's the first head coach so we could actually get a 60 prestige job Missouri Temple uh, LSU Georgia Tech Ole Miss so you know you start USC so you start getting into some more prestigious schools you know so you know again if you want to play with a top team hell go you know go elite and you know and then open up all the jobs you know basically um, not every job, but, you know, quite a few, you know, so that gets us up Pitt, Creighton, Illinois, Oklahoma, Yukon, you know, 73, 74 prestige clubs. So, you know, and you know, that's up to you, however you want to play. And then you're going to finalize. So let's, let's just take that Virginia job just because I clicked on it. We'll finalize it. And then you save and finish your league creation. It'll build out your database and you're ready to play. So I wanted to walk you through mainly dealing with that mod because I think a lot of people would like that mod. Uh, you will, just a heads up, you will, he does not have the uh, security certificate. So if you have a firewall, uh, it will uh, catch that and flag it, you know, override it, you know, have your, have your uh, program scan it uh, if you have a... Uh, security program and it's fine and i've installed it so no problems um you know he's doing you know the guy that did that did it for free there's no charge for it he's not aligned with the company he just did it to do it to help out pe you know people like you and me and uh you know he's not going to spend money to buy the security uh certificate so that's what that's all about uh, but always be be aware of that, you know, so I wanted to mention that, that you will get that error uh, when you first try to install the mod uh, and why. Uh, here's where if you have multiple saves, uh, you can, uh, you know, or, you know, in a league, if you have multiple owners, you would pick uh, your yourself and log in. And there we are. So we start off at our roster. You can see you get alerts, things that are going on. Uh, things that you have to deal with, basically how to move past this stage. Uh, you have your emails, and you can look at those, our budget, scheduling notice, uh, how to schedule your uh, 
scouting reports. I'm not going to go into all that for the gameplay. I just wanted to show you the game. Um, this is a simulation game. So, you know, I don't know if you can play it or not, to be honest. I haven't gotten to that point. Uh, I was just browsing around and trying to deal with the recruiting. So when you get to the recruiting, uh, again, if you're interested in the save, um, I will, once, once I have started putting videos up i will come back and let you guys know but you can do a youtube search for gm games and they're gonna have i guess it'll be just like my channel where you'll have a list of videos and then they'll have all the videos they'll probably have them sorted out by uh playlist and each playlist i guess would be one of their vloggers that does it so i should have my own section on there uh, and then all the draft day sports basketball videos will be on in that site. Uh, not trying to drive traffic to another site. Again, the whole reason I'm doing that is they're going to uh, put up a page advertising my channel to let people know that I do other stuff and hopefully bring some more viewers over to my football manager content. So guys, draft day sports college basketball 2020. It just came out not too long ago, about a month ago. And, uh, you know, perfect timing for March Madness, which is, uh, you know, Marcus at Out of the Park Developments. Uh, he usually releases OOTP right near opening day for the baseball season. No baseball this year, but we still had the new version come out, OOTP 21. Uh, March Madness is the time that Gary releases Draft Day Sports bas College Basketball. And uh, no March Madness this year. I, I was... You know, with everything going on with this coronavirus, the day they canceled Mar the March Madness tournament, that was the day, quote, shit got real. <laughs> you know, uh, I went, oh, wow, that's that's odd. You know, that's that's weird. I mean, I've never had a year in my life where we haven't had uh, a basketball tournament. Uh, so anyway, but uh, check out the game. Uh, as with all of Gary's games, you can go to Wolverine. Uh, to their website and uh, just do a Google search for Wolverine Studios. They have demos for all their games. Uh, you can play usually play one season. Uh, it won't let you progress to a second season, but you can play one full season typically. I, I haven't checked his demo out, but you know I do know he has demos for that. So you can you can try it out. And then like I said, when you want to buy the full version, you can buy it through his site download it directly from his site uh, or and they used to use e-license i don't know who they use anymore uh, it could still be an e-license thing because uh, we used to get two licenses for each game um, that way you could install it on your desktop and your laptop whatever uh, i buy them all on steam now just to have them all in one place for just ease of dealing with it and uh let me know if you've played the game, let me know in the comments what you think. And um, if you do try the game, let me know about that. Uh, if you're interested in any of the games, like I said, any of the videos, like I said, go start checking me out over at uh, GM Games as a guest vlogger where I'll be doing only college basketball 2020 uh, for the time being. Uh, what I may do on that is rotate some of Gary's games. So I may do this. I may then switch into a college football but we'll probably do several seasons. Um, it's going to be a journeyman style, much like my football manager. So you know how, how those go. Um, so anyway, thanks for checking this out. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Uh, hit that little bell up there at the top for up, up over here somewhere that way. Um, to get your uh, notifications, uh, you know, to your email or your text, however you're set up for that. Thank you very much, guys. We will see you later. Take care. Bye.